So if you watched my last vlog where I went to SEMA, which was amazing by the way and I'd recommend it, um, then today is the day after SEMA. So we're driving home from Vegas, but we thought that we'd make an awesome pit stop. This is the top of a piece of a sand dune. Okay, so Mitchell and I came to an abandoned water park. Uh, it's called like Rockaloosa, Rockahula, Rockahula, um, and we came on a bad day because there's an airsoft event going on, which means there's a lot of people out here with BB guns shooting each other, and so we're kind of terrified to enter the park because I don't want to get shot. What's the chance that we would show up on a day with an airsoft event? I feel like the fact that there are like a hundred people here really defeats the point of going to an abandoned water park. Hi. Yeah. Um, how long is this event gonna go on for? Uh, till about four or five o'clock. You guys can be here though. We have to turn back because the airsofting event was gonna run till later and apparently recently somebody came here to take some photos and they sued the owner because they got hurt, which is stupid because you're not supposed to be here, so like, if you get hurt, it's kind of on your own terms. Anyways, uh, that's gonna be the end of this trip. I, 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 I. So Mitchell and I are really bummed out over the fact that we couldn't go to that water park. But it kind of inspired me to make this video, which is the five rules of urbex or urban exploration. Um, first off, I want to start off by saying that I don't condone trespassing. Don't watch this video and think, oh, Warren's telling me to go out and trespass somewhere. That's not the case. If you're going to do something, you're doing it on your own risk. I'm not telling you to do it. So let's start with rule number one. If you go somewhere and you want to explore it and it's trespassing, realize that there are consequences that could be legal or could result in you getting hurt. And if you still want to go to those places despite the consequences, then accept the fact that you could get hurt or you could get in legal tr trouble. Don't go there and think that, yeah, it happens to some people, but it won't happen to me. Realize that the possibility of getting caught by the police or getting hurt is a real possibility. So keep that in mind when you try to go to these places. Rule number two is don't take, touch, or break anything. When you go to these places, you wanna go check them out and see what there is to see. So don't ruin it for the people who wanna go after you. Don't graffiti on any of this stuff. Don't take anything that you find or break anything just because you can. You wanna leave it just how you found it so that the next person who wants to find it can see it that same way that you did. Rule number three is one that a lot of people don't understand, and that's don't share too much information about the places that you're going. If you wanna post a picture of you at this cool place, that's fine. Realize that possibly you could get in trouble legally for posting this photo, but everyone still does it. But what I'm trying to say is, if somebody asks you randomly on Instagram or on Twitter, hey, where's this place, where's that place, don't just willy-nilly hand out the address to these places. Because if more people start going to these places, then they're gonna get shut down. So if you find this place, keep it to yourself, or maybe to a close group of friends. But don't go out and share it to anybody that asks. It kind of defeats the purpose of it being an abandoning place. Rule number four is kind of more of a piece of advice, and that would be start off small. Don't go to the coolest and biggest uh, abandoned place or urban exploration place that you can find on your first trip. Start off with something to like get your feet wet in the whole urban exploration field. Start off with something small, maybe in your town, something that not a lot of people know about, just some place that sounds cool or that you've never been to but you want to go to. Don't start with the number one place because at the number one place, there's a potential for police being there and knowing about this area, and there's a higher chance of you getting caught, and that's not a good place to start. Now the fifth rule is gonna sound stupid, but it's have fun. When you go to some of these places that are abandoned and you're potentially doing something wrong, you might get really scared that you're gonna get in trouble or that you're gonna get hurt. But if you're sitting there scared the entire time and you're not enjoying yourself, then what's the point of going? You just kinda gotta take a deep breath and enjoy where you are and the scenery around you and the place and the history of where you are. So make sure to enjoy yourself when you go to these cool places. So that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll see you guys next time.